Hey guys, it's Redshock Day, playing some Mortal Shell. This is the No Shell, No Damage playthrough. And today we're fighting Imrod. Not many of these videos will have commentary. I just decided to do commentary for this one. I'll tell you where we are. I did a test run to make sure I could beat it in one shot. And I have a plus three mace with the L1 R1 ability. Already unlocked, but not L2R2. And L2R2 is the overpowered ability. But we can still use the L1R1 on the phase transition. So this fight is pretty much running R2 to punish everything he does, except for like one or two attacks. And be ready for him to cancel out of stuff if you're too far away. I learned fighting Smoldering Mace Header and that the second dash is basically completely invulnerable, although a Fable 1 or something. Uh, so mashing dash is actually quite good in this game, more so than trying to time it. Because, at least in my experience, sometimes the game drops your circle input. Which is no good. Like it might have happened just there, actually. Oop. Okay, there's your option select to be wary of. Just got another drug down It didn't matter. But... There's another option select. People say Dark Souls drops their inputs. I'm not really sure if it does or not, or if it's just the clunkiness of the controls, but this game actively drops inputs sometimes. It doesn't diminish the game that much, but at least on PS4 it might be a performance issue. Maybe on PC it never drops it, but to So here's a one out. That gives us like a fire dot buff if we could with two running R2s quickly. Watch this attack will take my forward. Then we'll get like a single fire attack. Can't punish the kick. Uh, the kick doesn't do any damage, and it gets him to pick up a body, which gives you a whole crap load of free damage. Uh, but with the wider dodge of Shellless, it's kind of hard to get hit by the kick in the first place. It doesn't always kick after that, sometimes it does it still. So. Okay, there's kick. Oh, we got unlucky, I think. I think I'll just run down this thing. Okay, I don't know if that thing can damage you or not. Usually when he kicks you, he's not directly on top of the body, so he has to walk over to it and he can run up and knock him out of it with a double R1 R2 combo. Uh, the, sec the R2 combo in there does like infinite poison damage or something. A lot of poison damage, to say the least. So that knocks him on his ass and you get about 100 free damage. Since kick doesn't do any damage, that conveniently still works in the trans Alright, this should work fine. Also, be right next to him. The, uh... Projectile doesn't really do any damage. So there you go, 165. Because our mace is upgraded this time. Wonder how much it would have done if we were buffed as well. Look at that. Oh, no, I wasn't supposed to punch those, but... 
stick, especially at this point in the fight. You can do that attack, and it's too fast to get around. I think I'm just gonna pay them into this, because it'll be a little bit more predictable. In that case, I probably could have punished, and now he has 1 HP. <laughs> 1 HP. We went on the This did not happen the first time I fought him, I don't think. Or the whiteout took a while longer, but this time it happened quickly. So, important to note, if you pick up the gland, you are stuck here, so you cannot fast travel. Um, it shouldn't matter that much for this sound, but one of the later sounds, that's going to be pretty annoying. So I'm also going to make a video for the walk back, just to get out of the zone. But thanks for watching the video, guys. Hope it was helpful, and I'll see you next time. Your triumph is nothing short of miraculous. Downling. That sacred gland in your hands holds the purest sacrament. The true nectar inside is not meant for you or I. And yet, it is all we hunger for. Whether lost or devout, such a rare gift arouses covetous desire. Remain wary and keep it close.